Travis Wayne Goodsell. I was about to sit down to watch No Time to Die to see if the Book of Mormon's in it. And uh, check the news one last time. That was a mistake. Because again, another, this is worldwide press, Associated Press. Like I told you, it's over. Church has fallen. So the Salt Lake Tribune started it off uh, getting his letter, which apparently he was going to wait until the 23rd, Joseph Smith's birthday, to give to Nelson. He did it yesterday, the 20th. And national press and now world press have picked up the ball and everybody's running with it. Everybody. And the church is toast. It's over. See, the press, they know they've got a story here. The church has been exposed by the wealthiest Utah, former Utah, former Mormon now, as being racist, sexist, and bigoted. And I've been warning this whole time, and Mormons, instead of reevaluating their life and their actions and their church, decided instead to protect the church rather than live their lives as Christ like examples. And in protecting the church, they helped to speed up its destruction. Because when you have to defend a criminal organization, you take them down with you. And that's going to be a harsh lesson for you. But I warned you. I remember doing the videos, begging and pleading with you to get out of the church now, to wake up, Figure out how to be sound in your arguments. Dump all of the fallacy that's in your life that the church has put in you. Trying to save you. Trying to protect you from this faith crisis you're now entering in. You are now realizing the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is false and it's been a fraud this whole time and the Book of Mormon is now true literally true not a spiritual witness truth because it exposes the great and abominable church just as I've been telling you, it's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Book of Mormon is true. Joseph Smith is true. He exposed and prophesied of the fall of the church. He's true. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is not. 19 July 1840 he called the 12 with Brigham Young as the president Judas so yes I know YouTube played a big role in aiding and abetting the church to silence and censor me And they're going to have to take responsibility for having destroyed the church. Again, if you have to protect a corrupt criminal organization, you're going to speed up its downfall. 
the main lesson of scriptures is love. It's not complicated. Because once you start down the path of wickedness and hate, you perpetuate destruction of yourself and anybody that gets caught up in you. You become the enemy of humanity because you refuse to love. So now the Associated Press. Mormon billionaire resigns, rebukes faith over LGBTQ rights. There's also racism and sexism. But everybody's focusing on LGBTQ because he actually gave $600,000 to Equality Utah. A billionaire believed to be the wealthiest person. Everybody's... They're reporting from reporting. They're not doing their own primary research. <clears throat> Rebuke the faith over social issues and LGBTQ rights. Jeff T. Green has pledged to donate 90%. Green has said he hasn't been active in the faith. Uh, said in a letter to President Russell M. Nelson Monday. Uh, the church didn't immediately return a message seeking comment, so they did. Uh, this was an hour ago, during the 4 o'clock hour, or 6 o'clock, let's see, 6 o'clock now. So, yeah, 4 o'clock hour. Because I'm, I'm 7 minutes into this video and it just barely turns 6.01. So, yeah, yeah. The actual news are getting confirmation from the church, and they're refusing because they're on vacation for the rest of the year. And then, let's see, 44, Southern California. You mentioned concerns about. See again, God, ugh, 200 billion. It's 200 billion now. And it's more now. It's the end of the year. Now we get to find out how much they made for 2021. <laughs> so as of the end of 2020, they were at 200 billion. Okay. Leaders have defended how the church uses and invests members' donations. Again, Tithing is not a donation. It's required. It's in the Temple Recommend interview for worthiness. You have to pay. It's not a, a suggestion. It's not an opinion. It's not a recommendation. You have to. Or you can't be Mormon. You can't join the church. You can't become a participant in Mormonism unless you pay and you pay in full just like a mafia crime boss he sends his goons around to the various stores and say hey you gotta pay up your insurance dues to protect you and they have to fork it out and it's under the table you know the church does it through tax-exempt status <laughs> so it's under the table That's where James Huntsman goes wrong. That's why he blew it. It's a protection racket. <sighs> saying most of saying most is used for yes, of course most is. <laughs> they told us how they do it. You give tithing, and there's a total number. But the church takes out 10% and puts it into the investment company. So yes, most of it goes for what it's supposed to go for. 
but those other investments are supposed to do the same. And that's tax evasion. They're frauding the IRS. The whistleblower went over all this. <laughs> Just because the whistleblower filed under the Trump administration with Mnuchin, <sighs> nothing got done. And so were I, at least, have been trying to get it resurrected under the new IRS person. And still, nobody's taken the ball. And so, now, uh, let's see, the church has also come under criticism for social positions, including opposition to same-sex marriage. Women do not hold the priesthood in the faith, and black men couldn't hold the priesthood until 1978, guys. There's a reason why 78 is important. I've gone over that in the video. That's the same year that the church got the United States of America to drop the Edmunds Tucker Act. What shut them down, they got it shut down in 1978. When the quid pro quo, fine, we'll let blacks in. Take out the Edmunds Tucker Act, and we'll let blacks in. And nobody saw that. Nobody made the connection. Me. I did. And YouTube silences me. In recent years, though, the faith has worked with the... No! It's a cover. Just like the religion is a cover. They have to put on a front. Oh, we're not racist. See, I have a black friend. <laughs> We put Kwaku in Mormon apologetics. We're not racist. <laughs> uh, yep, 10 million. Yep. And then the next day, Bezos' ex. Billions. <laughs> that is nothing. That is a widow's might that they gave to the NAACP, and the NAACP fell for it. They let Nelson be their puppet master. The NAACP has been working hard for, what, 50 years or so? and they let Nelson work them over. It's disgraceful. And then there's James Huntsman, another prominent one-time Latter-day Saint. <laughs> one time? <laughs> Isn't everybody one time? Why are they trying to refer to people who come back to church and get rebaptized? Those are very rare. <laughs> they sued the faith this year, accusing it of fraud and seeking to recover millions of dollars in contributions. But he called it donation. <sighs> yep, the suit was later tossed out. And so I guess his appeal was rejected. Haven't heard anything about it. It's been months. So. And it's all over the world, guys. Everybody now knows. Mormons can't go out and say, oh no, fake news. We're not racist, bigoted, and sexist. <laughs> Make sure you pay your tithing. <laughs> you can't be a member otherwise. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. You guys are caught. You're frauds. 
you fell for the church. You got hypnotized, brainwashed, suckered by the church. They played us for chumps. And you who are still in it, I warned you. Now you get to experience what other ex-Mormons have already gone through. The faith crisis. Because you never got a testimony. If you got a testimony, you would have left on your own. You wouldn't have gone through a faith crisis. Because you would have known the church is false. And said, I can't be a part of this. And you would have known truth. You would have had a testimony that the church is false. And left. You would have known the Book of Mormon is true. The Word of God. Because the church is false. You would have known Joseph Smith is a true prophet. Because the church is false. Now do you understand all my videos? Now do you understand why it's important to learn the true history? Not the hearsay history. Not the official word of liars history. Now do you understand that all the information all over the internet by the church is all false and fraudulent. Everything needs to be restored. You can continue to live in denial. The church will not support you.